Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Tuesday the 27th. Um, before I turn on the car and it starts making my phone act stupid. I have to go get some labs done, you guys. I just... If you guys remember my appointment on the 14th, I got some lab work done. And we got it done just for my glucose test, but they ended up like testing everything come to find out i'm starting to show signs of preeclampsia and i'm mildly anemic they actually sent me that message through the portal and the portal does not notify me when i get messages so they sent that mess mind you my labs were done on the 14th they didn't send me this message until the 19th and i barely saw it yesterday because i was making our calendar for march and i was putting all my appointments in so i barely saw the message yesterday the 26th so my doctor needs to get it together because that's definitely something that y'all should have called me about because she put orders in for me to go get labs done and now I'm barely getting them done in my appointments tomorrow but I was like you know what as long as I get them done before my appointment cool so we can discuss or see whatever but King Brian just got home from the doctor with King because King woke up saying his throat hurt and throwing up he has strep so it's just today's been a day I've been editing and um uploading all day so that's that but yeah this is how this is how we're starting today's this vlog be because things are crazy but i wanted to take you guys along the journey you guys know um when i did my pregnancy announcement i told you guys all the things that i was at risk for so preeclampsia is showing its face so let's go get these labs done and pray that my levels leveled out you guys look how gross it is outside all of that brown gloominess you see is dirt flying around in the air and my air purifier in the house has now turned yellow which means the air in the house is getting dirty because we've kind of been coming and going today but yeah welcome to west texas it is 76 degrees the wind is blowing like crazy and it's blowing dust everywhere which is why i didn't want to leave the house today but things got to get done you guys over here I just parked really I just I just don't want to have to get labs all the time is what I don't want to use use door on the other side that's what I don't want to do all right you guys we're all done the blood is drawn that lady never hurts me when she pokes me <laughs> which I don't mind because I have a feeling I'm gonna be having to get my labs done every week. I have a feeling. So, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> we're like, you look so cute. It's <laughs> like, thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now on the agenda, I'm about to call the pharmacy and see if King's meds are ready. If they are, I need to stop by the house and get our prescription card. And then get me and Brian some food. I've been snacking all day, but I haven't eaten an actual meal today. So go ahead and get me and Bryson some food. I mean, me and Brian some food. All right, you guys, we have been home. I ate my lunch. I got the three finger combo from Cane's and baby is full and happy. I got a sweet tea to drink. Um, I'm about to edit. I did edit for TikTok excuse me and get that video up so now i'm editing for youtube dinner it's just about done in the crock pot so i'm gonna check on that in a minute probably in about 10 minutes or you know what let me just go ahead and check on that right now person's <sighs> watching the older two got in trouble because they woke up and didn't do any other chores So we're make, we're having chicken tacos tonight, y'all. This needed some air. Y'all see how it Wow, that is bubbling. Let's just put that on warm. And it's probably ready to shred. So I'm gonna shred it. But um that for TikTok. All right, you guys, we got the chicken. Oh, nice and shredded. I just have Rotel, 
garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, fajita seasoning, and taco seasoning in there. I used frozen chicken breast on high and it was about three and a half hours. So I could have cooked it on low, but we went with high to be on the safe side. All right, you guys, we're back home. King just had his first round of antibiotics. Um, I did go ahead and buy all the boys' new toothbrushes because they just, let's just go ahead and not spread that. And then this will be King's new toothbrush whenever he is feeling better. But for right now, um, big brothers are gonna get one of these. And then this will be King's when he feels better. Oh, and we needed trash bags. Here, put a trash bag in. Oh man, that is not even that good. All right, you guys, dinner is served. So I'm gonna eat this and then call it a shower, clean or clean shower, and then call it a night. All right, you guys, good afternoon. I'm about to make lunch for the boys. I have spent my entire morning in the Word of God. It was really good, really nice, very much needed. Hi guys. Y'all have this to put up. So I think I'm gonna do like a chicken pot pie type of deal. Um, do like a bag of corn, a bag of green beans, season those up in the crock pot, put the chicken on top with cream of chicken. So, cream of mushroom, and then I'll make these to go on top of or on the side. We'll have these on the side for dinner. But right now I'm making mac and cheese. Anyways, I was telling you guys, yeah, my mind goes everywhere. Spent a lot of time in the Word of God this morning. So I actually live in the Texas Panhandle. And if you kept up with any of anything that's going on in the Texas Panhandle, we are having a problem with wild fires right now. Um, this time of year up in West Texas Panhandle area, it gets very, very windy. It has been so windy, like I haven't even been. Y'all saw, you guys saw yesterday. I showed you guys when I went to go get my blood work done. So that's how windy it is for like days at a time. Well, a fire started about pretty far out, pretty far out, and um, it's burned through about 400 miles of land in the Panhandle. And um, it's only about a 150 miles out from us as of today. We were supposed to be expecting rain tomorrow. It's kind of starting to start disappearing, but now the wind has calmed down. So hopefully they can get the fire contained and it doesn't reach the city I live in, but they have not been able to contain it because the wind has been so crazy and it's just literally spreading like a wildfire. Like I now get where that, um, saying comes from but yeah make it right now i'm making the boys mac and cheese mac and cheese and veggies i need to get their veggies the berries are coming in one back my own is one bag So I'm gonna get this lunch done, and then once they're done, just set that inside of there, eat them. And then once they're done um, with the dishes, I'm gonna get dinner in the crock pot, but y'all know I film my dinners for TikTok. So if you ever want my recipes or anything like that, follow me on TikTok. All right, you guys, another crock pot dinner in the mail. I just did chicken corn, two cans of cream of chicken. Season it to your liking. The main seasoning I used was ranch seasoning, and like I said, we're gonna have these on this side. So kind of like a deconstructed chicken pot pie kind of situation going on. So I'm about to start editing for, uh, I think I'll edit for TikTok first cause I don't take too long and then I'm gonna start editing for YouTube. I need to order me some food. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom, order me some food, start editing. All right, you guys, we are here at my appointment. We're waiting for the doctor to come in. These appointments aren't really much. They're just gonna measure me, like measure my uterus, make sure it's growing at the right place, pace, and then check baby's heartbeat. I hope your uterus so. grows in the right place. <laughs> yeah, 
the only thing she's actually she's actually concerned that my uterus might get stuck to the mesh that they used to repair my hernia so we'll also see about that once i go in for my c-section but we're just waiting on the doctor now you guys so yep that's it oh and yeah that's it all right you guys we have been home for a while brian and i immediately got home and started working he had work and i had work for youtube currently working on a clean with me little video look how the food came out where's well it's coming out i think i like things in the crock pot low and slow so maybe i'll try to start getting things in the crock pot earlier rather than later because this just cooked smells so good what was that so I gotta finish filming this for TikTok, but it's time to make the biscuits. Oh, I was about to tell you guys how my appointment and stuff went, hold on. All right, you guys, so about the appointment. So I don't know, I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but earlier this week I received a message in the patient portal saying that some of my levels were a little bit elevated on my labs, predicting early signs of preeclampsia. So at my appointment today, I brought that up to the doctor. I was like, hey, how are my labs? I received a message saying that the preeclampsia was starting to show up. And my doctor was like, because last time on the 14th, when I went, I saw the nurse practitioner. I did not see my actual doctor. That is my actual OBGYN that will actually be delivering my baby. I saw a nurse practitioner. And that's not to take away from nurse practitioners. I understand you still go through a lot of schooling. You're still it takes a lot of work to get there. Just let's be a little more thorough. Let's let's pay a little more attention to the messages we're sending. And so my doctor was like, no. And I was like, are you sure? I was like, I received a message in the patient portal saying that some of my levels were elevated and that, you know, we were predicting preeclampsia. And so she looked over it a bunch and she was like, mm, no. She's like, I don't see anything saying that you are starting to show signs of preeclampsia. She's like, your blood pressure has been good. Your labs look good. She's like, everything looks good. She's like, your glucose test was good. She's like, the only thing is that you're a little bit anemic. So in the email, it made it sound like I was very anemic. She, she's like, you're just a little anemic. She was like, not very much. She's like, let's just start you on a little iron supplement. She was like, we just don't want it to drop anymore. She's like, as long as we can prevent it from dropping anymore, you are good to go. And I was like, okay, so lots of good news at the doctor today. So we gotta go get some iron tomorrow. Or some beef liver capsules is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to find some beef liver. Probably go to Sprout or Natural Grocers and see if I can find some beef liver capsules. Um, continue to take my vitamins. And um, I also need to get start taking my fiber again because if just in case me taking in all this extra iron starts to constipate me, we can balance it out with the fiber. So. We are doing good, still haven't, I've only gained five pounds this entire pregnancy, which we are excited about because like I said, I am technically considered overweight still because I'm only 5'4". And my starting weight at the doctor, and I say at the doctor specifically, is uh, was 207, I'm 212. Haven't gained any more, haven't lost any more, so we are doing good. Um, we got about eight more weeks to go. Oh my God, that is insane to say. But for reals, you guys, I really need to get this film for TikTok, but I wanted to up you guys, update you guys on how the doctor went. So let's get these biscuits made. Biscuit, 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 oh, biscuit. No, oh, I love you. Did you have a good nap? You were sleepy head, huh? Is that why you were butt much and ate my french fries? Mm-mm, this, oh my thing, even. 100% You were 100% tired? Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, good morning. Welcome back to another day. We are currently at the chiropractor. We are about five minutes late. That's okay. We are still making good time. I think after the chiropractor, I'm gonna stop at Nature's Grocers because they're right around the corner and then we'll head to the library to see if I can find some beef liver. One's fine. Oh. Go, what are y'all waiting for? You can open the door. And go sit down by the other doors. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute. They're all wearing. Yeah. 
puppy today, Ethan? I have showed you this. Other side. Nice to like his ears. He's got ears kind of like me. Yeah. I don't think this one looks like. One more. Good puppy. One more. Come on, come on, George. Okay. Right now, my little one's doing a project on. Good puppy. Come on, let's look at my mouth. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna take how many floors. Fit. Uh-oh. Person, that doesn't have to do with the fall or his back or his Cross neck. Cross those arms. Good job. Let's sit up for a second. Yeah, see if I can hear you. Mm -hmm. His neck was well. Already popping. Good. Get the move. Can you pop before you put him back down? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when we're walking in, King said, I need a pop. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, that's about that time. Right, Brian, that would be crunchy. Good job. All done. Crunch. Ooh, that was good. That was a real good good crunch. Yes. Got yep. big boy crunch there. Yep. Nice one. There's the beef. It's amazing. Wow. Ooh. Extra poppy. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That one sounds well, like yeah, it. Your neck was a little tighter than anyone. You won the board. You're a little more stuck on that left side today. Y'all's back sound like they're feeling amazing. <laughs> Everyone will be ready for neck. That'd be nice, right? So you get stuff done. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are here at the library. I had to skip out on going to see if I could find a beef liver only because, because we were running late. We only had seven minutes to get to the library before story time. So we are here just in time enough to do drop off and go sit down and uh, start the story time. It doesn't look like there's a lot of people here. I pray it stays that way because every single Thursday has been so overwhelming recently that I just, I don't like coming but hopefully there's not a lot of people here so we're about to go head into the library and um do story time and tiktok played me i edited a whole video last night and whenever i was editing it editing it it showed up as if it was going to take up like the whole frame and then it didn't when i uploaded it this morning so i had to delete the whole video and now i got to start all over so fun stuff fun freaking stuff so i'll see you guys once we get inside all right so the veggies aren't going to accept him let's see what the fruits say so avocado asks the fruits am i a fruit you're not sweet and juicy like us said the pears no one would eat you as dessert giggled the bananas you belong in a salad but not a fruit salad chuckled the people you had avocado on a fruit salad i'm so yeah. thirsty yeah. i didn't get to eat I've never had an avocado. am i going to be able to open this without scissors i got my hydration boost. I need I need the vitamin B today. I don't belong with vegetables or the fruit. There must be somewhere I can feel at home. Oh, he's been running away. He's running away from the fruit and vegetable aisle. He's got to find where he belongs. Where is he? Oh, he's way over here. He's going to go away. Let's see where he ends up. But where? Oh, can you guys tell where he is by this picture? At the store. The, store. The, store. the store. The cherry the one tastes like store. cherry fun dip. Walmart, you know what I'm talking about? Probably so you can hang it somewhere. Well, you can hang it outside. No. 
So what did the avocado end up being? What kind of, is it a fruit or a vegetable? Um, I think a fruit. A vegetable. Fine, that's a mom's question. Vegetable? Fruit, fruit, vegetable. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't hear the story. I was working. All right, you guys. We are leaving the library now. I'm gonna stop at Sonic and get me a little snack real quick, and then head to Nature's Grocers, Natural Grocers, whatever the name of that store is. Y'all will see whenever we get there, and then um, head to I think Costco, and then go get Brian. So. Let's go get me a snack really quick. All right, you guys, Natural Grocers is the name of the store. We are gonna go in here and see if we can find some beef liver. Brian called while we were sitting at, um, I said, stay by me. Yeah. Brian had called while we were, shh. Brian had called while we were at uh, Sonic eating our little snack, so. I wonder if they have clips here or something. I need like something to put my hair up. And I don't feel like going back home. They have brushes. But I don't see, I don't see any clips or hair ties or anything like this. Have y'all seen these? these um, Ethan, put it back. Don't ever put a brush on your head that's in the store. So yeah, we're here to find the beef liver, you guys. I don't think they have any like hair styling products like hair ties or anything. All right, you guys, we found it, but why is it so expensive? So I think I'm gonna go with this one. So it looks pretty good. It doesn't have any hormone pesticide and GMO free, free no fillers or allergens. Um, pastures in New Zealand grass fed. So we're gonna go with this one. Alright, you guys, let's take grass fed liver. I wonder if these are gonna have a taste. That's what I'm most nervous about, but we're gonna take one. Six capsules? Dang. Six capsules? Does Six it, capsules? Does it take you to take that much? Or what does six capsules mean? Oh my God, that's a lot of pills to take. I should have smelled that. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna take three now and three at dinner time, just because I don't know how this is gonna affect my stomach. I'm so nervous. And also, I think I think I might have a clip or chungle in here or something. I gotta look in my car bag, but I'm nervous. <laughs> No taste. Now, if I start burping up something weird, I'm done. I'm done trying to be healthy. Oh, okay. three stores today. Three scores. stores, not scores. Okay. All right, you guys, we have made it to Costco. We have started shopping. Yay, and baby too. There's so much I want to try, but I'm just not willing to pay that price. Does anybody oh. else feel like that when you're at Costco? Mama. I'm actually going to try a lot, but. I am going to buy dinner here for tonight because I already know I'm going to be exhausted. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get their fettuccine Alfredo or their Alfredo pasta. Because so we had like chicken pot pie last night. So all night when I was thinking, I was like, I should get one of these. I'm gonna get the most expensive one because that one will have the most in it. So, what is that one? Enchiladas. We haven't had pasta this week. I think we'll be okay with pasta. 
I think I just need to get a case of water. I think we're good on drinks. I do want more of those salmon things. Let's see if they still have them. Excuse me, Ethan. Oh, they do still have them, so I'm gonna get more of these. Come on, try this. Well, I do want to try that. You guys. <laughs> I just looked fat and not pregnant or he wouldn't have thought to put everything heavy in one box. <laughs> yeah. Alright you guys, so I'm debating on if <sighs> give me a second. <laughs> I need like toilet paper and a couple other things. I'm debating on if I want to go to Walmart right now or not. Brian gets off at three. It's one o'clock. By the time I finish at Walmart, it'll be two. That gives me an hour to go home and drop everything off. But it keeps me up and not ready to fall asleep. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to Walmart, y'all. So I'll see you guys when we're at Walmart. Sun's starting to come out, my feet hurt. Oh, cause vans are deep, like toes are too narrow for my feet. Let's go ahead and go get what we need. Don't you love when this happens when you're driving?
hundred dollars later, we are done grocery shopping for this week. Well, for these next two weeks. All right, you guys, so I just did the math. This was $400.37 altogether. So we got Bounty, uh, we got Lysol, we got, okay, so paper towels, toilet paper, toothpaste, we got oranges, variety pack snacks, these Nature's Bakery, those are Brian's favorite thing to like grab and go. We got dinner here, we decided on chicken Alfredo, cheese pizza, cucumbers, strawberries, grapes. Um, to mix it up between the cucumbers, I got carrots, like for fresh veggies. These are things that I know the kids like to eat. We got apples, we got the crust offs again. Uh, ground beef, and this time I went with drumsticks. And then we got the made good granola bites. We have the, um, I got beef jerky. We got the toaster grills. We got, excuse me, two loaves of bread. Trail mix applesauce. Y'all saw I picked up more of those salmon cracker snacks. We got maple syrup. Corn, green beans, garlic bread. We got four broccolis, two mixed veggies, one green bean, two California style. I did go ahead and pick up some more silverware. I'm probably going to wash this later so we can go ahead and use it for dinner. We have Velveeta cheese, challenge um, butter with canola oil, and then challenge stick butter. We got apple cinnamon Cheerios and frosted Cheerios. We have... Um, Fettuccine, spaghetti, we got penne, bow tie, did I say ranch? We got ranch. Greek yogurt, Parmesan cheese, Mexican style cheese, mozzarella. We got regular pancake on the sticks, blueberry pancakes on a stick. We got original pork sausage, waffles, and um, essential oils for my room, the living room, and the boys' rooms. And then these three, ones for the laundry room. One's for the guest room and one's for the boys' bathroom. And then the case of water is in the car. But I'm going to put all of this, start putting all of this up. I got about 20 minutes, so I got to hurry up, y'all. I found a piece of cake. My bottom hurts for some reason. Oh, that's the one all right you guys today is almost over today's friday the the march 1st so yeah the day is pretty much over i've just been working all morning filming content for tiktok i remember that video that i told you about yesterday that um i said it played me i re-edited that uploaded that to tiktok i filmed my scripture writing plan for the month got that posted everywhere and then I finished doing my voiceover for a YouTube video that's actually going up today. So by the time you guys see this vlog, that video will be up. So if you haven't, go check it out. It's a clean with me and just things like that. So yeah, but um, yeah, I've just been chilling today. I think we're going to go to dinner later, but that's about it. We don't have any big plans. We usually actually don't ever do anything on a Friday. We usually just stay home and chill and rest and unwind. And then the boys are doing puzzles right now. They got about 30 minutes until it's nap time. So I just, I didn't want to give them a screen or put them in a screen in front of a screen or anything like that. I wanted their little brains and their little bodies to mellow out. So when they lay down for a nap, they'll be able to rest peacefully. So that is what is on the agenda for now. Also, look at my shirt. I saw um, Maya Graves had a shirt on like this. And my sister actually has like her own little shirt business. So I was like, hey, can you make me this shirt? So she made it for me. Um, her business name is Wrapped in Jesus on Facebook if you want to place orders. Um, she made me another shirt too, but I'll show you guys that one whenever I wear it. But I really, really, really like this shirt. I also look super pregnant in this angle. But yeah. All right, just laid the boys down for a nap. They were, he just said he was already sleepy. <laughs> I'm trying to deal with nobody's grumpy attitude. I got a package. I got a package. So I'm going to sit down. We're going to open these together. I have two packages. I need to open this one and that one. All right. Let's start with the big daddy package first. Okay. I know what's in here. 
Open it. I'm waiting for something else to come in to use these. A new shelf for the kitchen, but it's taking so long. USPS been tripping with their... Why do they do this? Why do they put a box in a box in a box in a box? So we have this box. And then we have this box. I mean, I guess it's to conceal what you got. I could have swore I chose white. It better be white. So they look like this. You can pull them in and out. Oh, do I not have to put these together myself? No, I think I still do. Yeah, that's what these are. I'm gonna save this for TikTok because I do have to film it for TikTok. So we're gonna save those. Let's just to show. If I find it on Amazon, you know, it'll be linked on there for you guys. Yeah. Let's do this one. I don't know which one this one is yet. But it's another product I need to find for TikTok also. These are my hampers. I got new um I got new laundry bags. Ryan said I couldn't buy any more baskets because I threw one away. But he didn't say I couldn't request to get some for free. I just I wanted something cuter. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those other baskets. I think I'm gonna put the circle one in the laundry room for uh I'm gonna put the circle one in the laundry room for the towels and then throw the other two away. Why do these look so tiny? They look much, much bigger than the picture. It's not too bad. These are cute. Cute. They match our room too. So now these won't take up a ton of space in our closet. And they match. Yay. I like how you can refold them. It's like if you have to go to a laundromat or something. A laundromat or like if you're traveling and you need to take a laundry hamper. These would be really good for that. Again, I'll try to find them on Amazon and link them for you. But these would be really good for travel. So that is it you guys, those are my two little packages. I should be getting one more today. Just not sure what it would be. I really hope it's the shelves for the kitchen because I want to get rid of that wire rack shelf that's in the kitchen. So I'm not going to get rid of it. We'll probably get rid of the desk that's in the... Gosh, I feel like I can never breathe. We'll probably get rid of the desk that's in the laundry room. Throw that in the dumpster. That was free too, but... I really don't want it. They're, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need it anywhere else in the house. So we'll probably get rid of that. And then um, put the shelf that's in the kitchen in the laundry room. Hopefully that'll be that. But y'all, I think I'm about to lay down and take a nap. I'm tired. So I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs>
We are here for dinner. Brian and three of the boys just got back from the gym. That's why y'all just saw me and King playing. But this is one of the boys and Brian's favorite place to eat. So that's what we're eating for dinner. Here's a better view of the shirt. And the baby bump. Pants don't button. <laughs> the shirt. Anything that's already happened? Any new offers? Alright, you guys, we are home. Um, I ordered the chicken fried steak. It just, it wasn't good. The Where they sat us was stupid. Then they were allowing people, oops. And then they were allowing people to like smoke, like, right side right outside of like the doors that you walk in to get into the business anyways so they uh the service like for one they were super busy they sat us in a stupid spot so like i my chair kept getting knocked cigarette smoke smell just took my entire appetite away the food wasn't good my chicken fried steak was just overcooked the mashed potatoes weren't good everybody else enjoyed it um brian did not like his sandwich so so there was just a lot they gave bryce in the wrong it was it was just not a good experience but nonetheless the boys ate their food enjoyed their food i stopped and got me some video so that's what i'm about to eat i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here you guys i love you guys but remember that jesus loves you more and i'll see you in the next one bye